What's going on, gardeners? Today I'm just going to share with you an overview of the self-watering seed starting setup, and you can decide for yourself if it's something that you would like to invest in. This can water for really up to a week, and it really comes with everything. A capillary mat, the cells that you can grow your seeds in, and even little cocoa core pellets that you can use if you don't have your own DIY potting mix. And this is a neat little setup. All you have to do is put the water tray holding and the capillary mat here on top and then your seed cells right on top as that capillary mat will whip the water that you put down below up into the seed cells. Now the one thing that I will say about this burpee brand, you do have to go through and get scissors and cut out every single one of those holes. So that is the only con, but for $10, you know, it's about as much as you can really ask for. So it's a great deal all in all. And then all you have to do is add your seed starting mix, whether you use the included cocoa core pellets or your own DIY mix. Um, the first time you do water, you want to use a spray bottle to water the top so that it is sufficiently moist and the seed starting mix is able to take up that water that is in the bottom reservoir. So that this is the only time really you will have to water from the top. Then all you have to do is take just a jug or something and pour in the water into the bottom reservoir. Now, as you notice, while I'm doing this, I'm also pouring water onto the capillary mat, which is important because you want the mat to be able to wick up that water immediately and start providing enough moisture for each individual seed starting cells. This here takes up almost a half of a gallon of water, but as you can see here, it can water for multiple days probably and the mat has to be in contact with the seed starting soil and make sure your capillary mat is also submerged within the water below so it is able to work properly and in the proper manner. Then all you have to do is put the included humidity dome on. I prefer to use a heat mat to keep my seedlings warm and just be sure to provide enough light for your seedlings and make sure there is enough water in the bottom reservoir at all times. So, I hope you liked this video and really got something out of it. If you want to know my entire seed siding setup, including things like this heat mat and grow light, and my recipe for a DIY seed starting mix, I encourage you to, now to check out this video, which shows you the ultimate guide to getting your seeds started on the right foot.